board is in it's rocked to my socks and rocked uh, absolutely senseless. The language of the kids around me was unreal. Every other word was an F or an S. When one of the rock stars appeared in a G-string, the crowd went wild. The fellow was 99 and 7 eighths percent naked. Then the kids around me started to light up their joints. I lost track of the number of people that they had to carry out. Some were unconscious. I can't believe this. Others were taking off their clothes all around me. On the way home, I told my daughter, you'll never go to another rock concert as long as you live in my house. Here's some advice I'd like to give every parent. This is from this mother's heart to you. Don't ask your kids what goes on at their performances. Go and see for yourself. If you're going to let your daughter or your son go, you better know what's going on. Jack, this is appalling, isn't it? Yes, and not only that, but they show these same programs, the rock concerts, on television, and it's just like all oh, hell was let loose. In fact, you may not like what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway because I'm not afraid to speak out. I think that the music in hell for eternally be some of this rock music with all its vulgarities and all of its sexual innuendos. And uh, here they were stripping themselves, and the fellow running around in a little uh, G-string. It reminds me of the wild man of Gadara in Mark chapter 5 who was possessed of a demon running around in the graveyard naked and cutting himself with stones and screaming, demon possession. But... For you Christians, please obey your Bible. Sing a new song unto the Lord, Psalm 33, 3. He's put a new song in my mouth. Praise to my Lord, Psalm 40, verse 3. You can tell a spirit-filled Christian from one who just professes by right. what they sing. Be filled with the Spirit. What's one of the signs? Speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Colossians 3, 16, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. You get a dose of the Holy Ghost filling you, controlling you, and you'll be singing a new song and get rid of all of those stinking rock records. You know, Jack, something happened right here in Birmingham, Michigan. Irate Birmingham theater go, uh, goers speak out. We left the first act, writes a Livonia couple, because of the gross innuendo and vulgar language and because the Lord's name was taken in vain so frequently. Please refund my $14, demands a woman from Royal Oak. I need to buy some soap to wash out my ears. A show for the whole family, she says? Sure, for low-class, ignorant, filthy boars. Maybe. Right on, sister. Oh, that's quite an article there, Again, Jack. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. One of God's commandments, Exodus 20, verse 7. People have to walk out of these rotten theaters because of hearing the name of their God and the name of their Jesus. And by the way, Jesus is my God, blasphemed and taken in vanity. Not only that, but Ephesians 4, 29 says, Let no corrupt communication proceed in your mouth. As I already quoted, if there be any virtue, if there any be praise in things, think on these things. First, uh, Philippians 4, we need to get our minds saturated with good things. You know, Jack, I just quickly I want to say that a lot of people are seeing it like you're saying it tonight. Oh, right. Glamour Magazine, which is one of the uh, magazines for women, of course, found that their readers are fed up with television trash. Eighty percent said TV has become too trashy for their taste. And then Ohioans say that the same thing. In fact, uh, let me see. I believe that there was a, a poll there and 74% said we want television change. I could just go on and on and 80%, on. 80%, 74%. It goes on and on, yes. Yes. But and you've got to read that one article. <laughs> just... all, all right, I'll read this one about my two dads. Of course, you know that it's a sitcom and it was sponsored by Clorox and CPC. And uh, the, the young people, I'm going to condense it down because of time. These two young girls walked in, age about 13, walked in on Joey, who was one of the two dads having sex with a woman, in the living room. This was a March 16th program, NBC, My Two Dads. A laugh track, I find this very interesting, guides the viewer to see the humor in a father having illicit sex in his young daughter's presence. I think that is sick. It is. And the rest of that story tells about more vulgarities. And this is just a sitcom uh, with teenagers participating. Listen to me. God had it right. When Romans 1.24, inspired by the Holy Spirit, says that he's given them over unto uncleanness. Ephesians 4.19 adds uh, that 
they've given themselves over unto uncleanness, uh, unto lasciviousness, working with greediness, with greediness, that which is vile and dirty. And I'm going to tell you something. You can't go to heaven doing these sins. I don't care what your movie stars. I don't care what your television stars are doing. God wrote this book, and God is the one you meet at the end of the road. God is the judge. And 1 Corinthians 6, 9 says, The unrighteous shall not, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, premarital sex, one-night stands, living relationships, or adulterers effeminate abuses of themselves with mankind. He covers everything, homosexuality, names six more groups. We don't have time for all of them. But after he mentions all ten, including premarital sex, one-night stands, adulterous situations, homosexual acts, he says, they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge, Hebrews 13, 4. Outside of heaven are dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, idolaters, whosoever loveth and maketh a lie, Revelation 22, 15. Whoremongers, they chase women to the point where they just can't get enough. Exactly what Ephesians 4, 19 is talking about. And you know why this is? We're being brainwashed. We see it. We want what's out there. We think they're having a better time than we are. And it's because of what we see on that screen that we're having all of the immorality among preachers, among televangelists, wherever it's found. It's through the brainwashing effects of TV, and that's why you've got to get that letter to us. And I told you last week that two people wrote. Uh, one wrote Kmart, and that was Millie Ball, and Jack Cox wrote the Walmart drug chain, and these two pulled the items off of their shelves and... Kmart said we're through promoting nightingales because of the sexual in U.S. Thank you, and you need to write us and send us your name and address. In a little while, you'll get the address again. Please do it, and do it soon. We want to turn in tens of thousands of names to the uh, producers in August. All right. We'll be back in just a moment to explain to you further how you can be involved. But first, here is Chuck Ullman to give you the address once again, telling you how you can get our Opera of the Week, Sin's Explosion, and Chuck... One thing I want you to notice is that none of these New Agers will ever promote the teachings of Jesus Christ because the spirits within them are totally opposed to Christ. And so here are right. some of those doctrines of seducing spirits. You have to go really fast. Sensical prattle. There's only one thing and one person who can get you there. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, John 14, 6. The ancient wisdom of Babylon, Egypt, and Greece, not the Bible, is the basis of all truth. That eliminates the Jewish uh, ethics also, Jack. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, 2 Timothy 3, 16. Holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, 2 Peter 1, 20. All right, in our last 30 seconds, Jackson and evil do not exist. Peace and love are the ultimate realities. Rexella, that is so ridiculous. Just look at Washington, D.C., number one city for murder. Detroit, where we live, the number two city. Right now, guns... Keep you from discovering their sinister underworld. Randall Bear, a former New Age leader and best-selling author, became a Christian and wrote a powerful book called Inside the New Age Nightmare. Now listen to this. On the day this book was released, Randall Bear was mysteriously killed. Was it a tragic accident or a satanic plot to try to silence him? Inside the New Age Nightmare exposes how New Agers can easily rationalize such acts as abortion, euthanasia, racial sterilization, and even murder. Who are they? What groups and organizations promote New Age philosophy? Here's information so explosive we can't put it all on television. Now to order your copy of this revealing book for just $15, have your credit card ready.